Hey traders, welcome to the channel. Shakil here, and in today's video, we'll do what we usually do: reverse engineer some trades, see how it performs. And here we are in the trade uh, Binance main page, and we'll go to the BTC markets. Look at what are the top ones. As you can see here, the biggest loss is uh, VITE uh, BTC, and the top gain is uh, Tomo, right? And um, uh, what we'll do is we'll go back to Binance uh, sorry, trading view charts and as you can see here this is what the chart looks like for Tomo and the last few days it has gone up by almost almost 50% in like last six days like in one week more than 50% which is a huge 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 bull run for this one and so we'll try to understand or oh, whether this would have been identified early on and if it can be uh, we will try to find some other uh, cryptos who are in the same situation who are in this early setup as you can see here this is what we look for in other opportunities so personally for me i like to um, normally plot ema 15 open and close with different color close being the higher one i mean the green color and uh, open being the red color and uh, the normal macd with the normal standard and for me, the preliminary assessment uh, involves uh, making sure that the green uh, EMA is above the red EMA or crossed above, as well as the MACD line is uh, is above the signal, as you can see here. So this is the two requirements that uh, needs to happen for the first preliminary uh, scan to be done. So we'll go to tradefind.io and try to create a setup and find if there is any um, new coins which are having that setup and try to find them. Again we came to the main page. We will start with creating condition. EMA. Uh, we'll keep the length as 15 and the close. Okay, so latest EMA, this green one has to be above the EMA of 15 of so let's choose the daily for now and add this in. So this basically this condition is what we are saying that we are looking for like this in the late setup. So green has to be above the red. And then we go back here and again for the daily chart. EMA. Fifteen. And this time the close. So we have changed something. We have changed the candle. It's not the latest one. It's one candle away. Okay, it has to be less than the EMA fifteen. So the one candle ago with the source as open. So this is what describes. Um, this particular set where the red was about the green so the first sentence we are saying the latest one has to be green has to be about red one and one candle ago before that the red has to be uh, greater than the green one so we are trying to find some something of this part and the second thing we are looking for is uh, macd line has to be greater than signal for the latest one on it uh, on a deal candle come back here go to we we'll go to the daily part. The selector will indicate the as MACD line. I'm not changing anything, just keep it as what it is. So we are looking for the latest one. We are just making sure that the line is greater than signal. That's it. Go to the one. That's it. That's it. That's it. Run. So this is the three conditions that we have here. And we can try to look for something in BTC pair. You can run it. Let's see if you have some BTCs for today. Okay, we have it. We have exactly four. This is the benefit of having a scanner. So you can just describe your condition and get exactly what you're looking for. And this goes in deep in this one. Um, and which one do should we go first? Yeah, let's go for. Uh, ONT, ONT BTC, Tology ONT, BTC. Okay, okay. 
so you can see here guys what's happening so uh, as I always say this one is still in progress so it's not considered an end uh, scan so this is the latest candle and this is the one before that and you can see here if you zoom in there's a green candle there which has which is greater than the red one and all and even the MACD has the crossover done for the latest one so it's actually like MACD also has done the crossover and uh, also what do you say the EMA has done so it looks this setup looks promising let's go back and just uh, do a bit of a, like you can see here uh, here also you see the green is caused about the red but this is not gone up because we have an addition filter where we make sure the MACD also has to be bullish so because of that this would be a clear no go for us so let's go back, back and see how has it performed whenever uh, both things are aligned um so this was a sudden jump but yeah so again this would not be somewhere you would get an entry because almost by the time you come in you've already gone up let's go back and see in the previous one okay that's done okay this is looking not bad so it has gone up some some amount let's check how much time it has performed the intent of doing this is just to make sure does the support um, what do you say such kind of a setup historically so you can see it reached this trend of five percent since this entry here again okay. and uh, here also you can see there was a uh, yeah once it comes here you get into from here also at least close to five percent again here you got a decent amount of gain maybe five to six percent in this one wrong so you get this entry here you come and call the buy from here yeah almost oh sorry it's more than that it's almost 13 percent in two days so yeah it's not very exact because some of the times when the ema close jumped about the uh, open was purely because of this uh, sudden you know, increase in the volume and the price so unless unless that doesn't happen it does make sense for it to have a slow increase uh over long term at least for now ontology is in, in a bit of a consolidation phase so the price has not been going up but the weekly it does look bullish so this would be a what do you say calculated trade personally i would not recommend any trades for purely for education purposes which you can probably do your secondary uh, research and analysis in the video on the trades but this is basically the way to find out things we can check something else we can check for gas UTC how does that look similarly it's also getting up for a decent jump from at least the way it looks again it's not a recommendation uh, feel free to do your own research and make your own decision um, again see the last time the close went up there was a decent gain before that also there was a decent gain every time that happened there is there is potential for a gain at least from a probability point of view again this is personal traits um, purely education purposes my intent is here to just explain how to use the tool uh, let's see if you can see for um, USGT pairs maybe something there Okay, only one. Let's see USGD. Add a cash. Okay, same thing here. It's not that old, it's quite new. But from what I understand here, this gain happened after the crossover there. Same thing happened here. Something setup is coming up, but again, this has to be validated because as you can see here, this green went up for a very short while and then gone back down so the thing is if you check the value here it's almost equal you can see the ems yeah the close is slightly above the open ema for the like for the that very candle but then it went back again rather bearish so i would kind of uh, keep an eye till this crossover happens in my personal view it's my personal preference so yeah and Let's do some other setup also because I think the EMA have done it before one time and 
I wanted to show you something uh, related to volume. So let me just uh, let me see. Let me a clean slate and see how it would look. Okay. So again, sometimes you must have noticed that there are some coins of crypto whose volume just jumps like ten times an hour or four hours. Let's see if we can find something of that sort. So how we can do that is just go to the indicator selection, go to volume. So we are selecting volume for the latest candle. Okay. Has to be greater than the volume for the previous candle multiplied by number let's say 10 10 10 and here you can choose BTC and you can run right, there's quite a few and let's make it even higher just to see which is the highest one of us Let's check some of them. Uh, AGI. You see the whole hour of uh, AGI. Okay, so this is the candle, latest candle, and th this is the one before that. So if you see this volume jump here, see it here. The volume here was almost like 216 or so and it jumped to almost 3.5 million so and along with this volume jump you saw a huge pump in the price almost uh, 2.7 percent in 4 hours so you can do this even in the daily uh, and see in case of related to something in daily candle chart you can do that same you run it okay there's only one thread brd B R D B C right. This is in this is daily. Okay. So here you can see huge pump happen. The volume here was almost like 180 something. And it went up to almost 2.892 million just one day. So again, you can spot that volume jump along with the crossover, along with the EMA to close. This looks like a um, setup that you know would be interesting and uh, you check the weekly chart the price has been very bad for some time consolidating you can't rule out a spike such as normally seen bread with two spikes every now and then maybe whale manipulation effect but not a recommendation just an observation that you can make right now so yeah but again we are able to see the volume jump here it is more than 15 times the previous day so this is some of the ways you can use the scanner do let me know if you have any other uh, doubts or any other scans that you would like me to make a video on uh, before i end the video just uh, one request uh, do like the video share the video and do comment what you would like me to like uh, make a video on finally uh, tradefriend.io was the mvp that we made for the scanner presently we are working on a mobile app called tradebrand.co uh, it does everything that uh, tradebrand.io does but it's a mobile app and it's something that um, you know it will notify you when the trades uh, is you know available exactly like you are looking for it's very convenient and it has all the basic features of tradebrand.io plus a few which is like in my opinion will be really helpful for you to monitor the um, cryptos that you personally trade even you, you would be able to actually track individual crypto uh, using technical indicators and much more so please sign up on this site and uh, this way you will be uh, having access to beta when we launch and yeah and thanks a lot guys okay